So, my favorite day of the entire year is coming up very, very soon. You guys, it is Valentine's Day, and if you have a crush, it is the perfect opportunity to turn that crush into something more like dating or a real relationship. Now, anybody can just sit around and wait for their crush to ask them out, but this video is all about being proactive. This video is how to turn your crush into your Valentine, and it's all about the little things that you can do to help your crush get the hint. Some of these are super easy, and some of them are not from the page of heart. Like, they require courage, so I just encourage you to do whichever ones kind of suit you and your personality the best. If you guys are new to Ask Kimberly, make sure you join the family by clicking that big subscribe button and that little bell so that you get notified each time a new video is uploaded. And make sure you are following me on Instagram and Snapchat so you do not miss the posts for our Friday Q&As that happen every Friday here on YouTube and they are so much fun. So are you ready to make your Valentine a reality? Let's get right into the video. Oh, I need ya, I need ya. Alright you guys, so number one is to send them a candy gram or a flower or whatever your school does for Valentine's Day or in the days leading up to Valentine's Day. This is a really cute way to get their attention and make them feel super special, but it's also not so over the top that it puts them under pressure of any kind or even makes them feel embarrassed. You can choose to send a bunch of these to a bunch of your friends, including your crush so it doesn't really center them out as much. Or if you want to be super brave and send a super, super clear message, you could only send the one directly to your crush. There is a really good chance that your crush is going to ask you if you sent any of these to anyone else, and when you say no, it's a really clear indication of where you're at and how you feel about them. It almost does the talking for you, and that is not a bad thing. I would suggest writing something really simple. Don't like profess your love for them, don't go over the top, just say something like, hey, you're cute or happy Valentine's Day. Just like be very basic about it because the candy gram in itself is going to be a clear enough message. Number two guys is to send them a message on social media. Now I love social media because if you are a shy girl like I was when I was growing up, social media makes it so much easier to actually put your feelings out on the table. If only it had been around when I was in high school. Let me tell you guys. I personally recommend sending them an image or a gif that just cuts to the chase and says, will you be my Valentine? The only, only the only caution I have about this one guys is that it has to be followed up with some kind of request. It just can't put it out there and like leave it hanging and be like, will you be my valentine? And you're not even really being clear about what it is you're asking for. Like that person might interpret will you be my valentine as like, will you be my long term serious relationship? And we don't want them to like be scared off or get any false ideas of like what you're actually asking for. So follow it up with something tangible like, hey, want to grab ice cream on valentine's day? This can help them understand that being your valentine is fun and that by responding they're not like committing themselves to a lifetime of a relationship they're just accepting like a valentine's day date idea number three is to send them a flirty text and this doesn't need to be over the top flirty to get your point across it could be just something simple like you're on my mind today happy valentine's day if your crush is insightful at all they're gonna read that and be like well why am i on their mind today because it's valentine's day it's gonna get your point across but in a way that doesn't like feel overbearing or over the top if they do like you this gives your crush the perfect opportunity to say something back like you're totally on my mind too so if they take this opportunity, it's a surefire sign that they want to be your Valentine too. Idea number four, guys, is to ask them to an event that happens on Valentine's Day. Something like a dance or a party or a concert. Now this does not have to be hard because there's an event attached to it. For this one, I would just recommend being direct and to the point and not to be like, are you going to this event? Because that gives them the opportunity to be like, no, I'm not going. Instead, be specific and say, would you like to go to this concert with me on Valentine's Day? I think we'd have a super fun time. If they say yes, this sets the tone for the perfect Valentine's Day date. And trust me guys, there is nothing more romantic than an actual date on Valentine's Day because the mood is like all lovey-dovey and romantic anyway. So if the two of you are a match, that Valentine's Day romantic environment can really set the tone for like an amazing, amazing date. The fifth idea is if your crush listens to the radio to give them a big old shout out. Most of the local stations still do this on Valentine's Day and it's super cute and I think it's such a romantic gesture. So if your crush listens to a specific station on the way to school or work this works out perfectly just make sure you call within the time frame that you know they would be listening otherwise all that amazing effort could go to waste if nobody hears it choose a request song that is super romantic but not too overbearing so do request kiss me by sixpence on the richer but don't request this song Baby, all through the night I'll make love to you When you want me to And I will not let go Till you tell me to Okay, I can't stop 
I'm singing. It's such a good song. So do request six pence on the richer. Don't request boys to men. Number six, you guys, the final idea for turning your crush into your valentine is just give them an old fashioned valentine. Like a card, a candy apple, or like a bag filled with sweet tarts, something super romantic and old school. This is probably the most obvious way of telling someone that you like them, but guys, like a good old fashioned valentine literally never gets old. It's super romantic and super, super cute. This does not have to be expensive at all. It's just like so much more about creativity and cuteness. And if your crush likes you back, their reaction should be super positive and super flattered. Guys, if you are just simply not ready to try any of these steps I just outlined, or if you do try them and they just don't work out, do not worry. Seriously guys, I have personally had many crush experiences in my life that did not work out and it's all just a part of growing up and does not mean anything about your value as a person. There are so many fish in the sea. If you don't have plans on Valentine's Day, come and hang out with me because I'm going to be doing an Instagram live stream on Valentine's Day at night. I think we should like have popcorn and like cheesy chocolates and just like have a good old girly amazing time. If you guys are in for that, let me know in the comments below because I feel like we're gonna have like the most fun in the whole world. I feel like I could answer some of your questions live and I'm even gonna have some friends over and stuff. So I think it's gonna be a really fun experience. So make sure you are following me over on Instagram so that you don't miss this very, very fun hangout experience that's kind of a little impromptu. All right, you guys, if you love this video, give it a huge thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed to Ask Kimberly here on YouTube. Come and follow me on all the social medias like Snapchat and Instagram, all that stuff. And of course, guys, stay tuned for more weekly videos on relationships. Bye.